all right uh, here the mistake is actually I need to put a dash over here I hope this should work oh still not working okay I think I didn't close it up yeah now let me see cool better now let me change this this is also a little dark so I'll pick this orange color chat hand let me change this okay now it is slightly better okay now this chat window is ready now if I click this uh, there should be a window open on to the left side of this so okay let me calculate how many pixels beside I should get it before that first let me create a box so this was my chat box now let me create another box dev class I'll call this as a message box alright style let me give a width over here not width I'll call this as a right it should be right side by some let me put it as 500 pixels ok dev close now come to the style let me create the message box dot message box ok width of 250 pixels then height let me give it as some 200 pixels now let me refresh this page oh I don't see anything oh I have to give a color background white refresh okay now alright let me not do it like this let me take this let me inherit the properties of the same chat box now let's see alright it's coming to the bottom here but actually I want it exactly beside this so for this we need to know how much is this and what is this space so that I give some same space and then followed by this so this chat window is 250 and the right side 20 so it is 270 pixels it's already there. I'll add another 20, 280, 290. So the width should be 290. Let's make it as 290. Yeah. So it's aligning. So it, the space is very good now. Okay. Now in this, let me add dev class message head and let me put my name Krishna Teja close the dev let's add other things also class message body close the dev then dev class message footer close the dev alright now message box message box I think I don't need it so let me take it as message head ok message head also I can inherit here message head I can say it as message dot msg underscore head message body no no this is message box let it be like this only now refresh all right but like let's increase this height so let me write dot msg underscore body and this let me write the height of the body as some 300 pixels oh it's not coming 
message underscore body what happened to it message underscore body yeah correct height okay then okay let me put it as 500 refresh oh some error is there one second okay message box we are defining the height but no let's not confine the height here yet. let's close this all right let's make this as 300 cool and let me change this color of the header to different color let me take this peter river so this is message head right so dot message head background okay let's refresh okay cool this is better all right and then now i'll add a small into mark over here so that if i press there it can close so in this message head only let me write another div div class close and it has some into what i'll do is i'll just push this to the right side so for that let me write dot close float all right refresh all right now let's add the footer in the footer let me uh, take a text area text area text area let me put some sample content sample okay refresh cool now i'll call it as a class with message input all right let's style this message input uh, there is a different way of doing the styling for this i forgot but let me go through the yeah text area css text area tricks uh, if you try to put it as 100 percent it generally goes out of the box which we don't want so what can i do for that okay not this one text area 100 percent with okay let's look into this yeah we have to use the border box property then it's easy to uh, make it 100 percent let put let's put this and make width 100 percent okay and let me also give the rows as some four now refresh all right it's aligning and if you see it's actually giving a small white space at the bottom so what i'll do i'll try to pull this down by uh, two pixels or two, two or five pixels so for that i'll push the complete message box down by some five pixels so bottom minus five pixels refresh all right now let me remove this border so come to the message input border make it as transparent let's see what happens okay now border top two pixels solid let's take it as green 
now okay now I don't need that much color so let's make it slightly ash so let's take it from flat UI let's take this color not this this one silver all right let's make it one pixel only okay cool okay the height is slightly big let's reduce the height of the message box mm, so in the body let's make it some 250 itself refresh all right now if someone types inside the box we need to style that also so for that in the body div class message a this is from a close the div div class message b this is from b so these are two messages which are inside the body let's see how it looks like okay now come to the body yeah let's inside body I want the font size to be slightly less let's make it as 12 pixels okay now let's design the message CSS for the message a message a first let me give a padding of some 20 pixels and let's give a background background of some green now refresh okay 20 is not required I believe I think let's give 10 pixels okay now 15 all right now after this Mm. let me give a margin margin of margin from left side margin left of some 20 pixels all right now let me add a small a narrow kind of structure so that it looks like a speech bubble so for that let me use a pseudo element dot msg underscore a before okay here what we're gonna do content let's make it null okay first we need to make the position as relative for this relative okay now here with give it as 0 pixels height give it as 0 pixels then border make it as solid then border color okay, border make it as some 10 pixels and solid and color uh, okay transparent then blue transparent transparent let's see what happens with this oh something has come out but I don't want like that so okay let me refer Speech bubble CSS. How to create a speech bubble without images? Okay, this article is good. Okay, first we make the element, then okay, content is null, make it absolute. Okay, 
Did we do that? No. Position absolute. All right. Then yeah. Now look into it. Okay, but I don't want it like this. It has to be border border. Okay, let me copy this for timing. Okay, I think two things you have to give. So blue and okay, let me give it here also blue. Blue and let's see. Oh, no change. It's better. Let me copy this. Yeah, copy. Now let's see what happens. Okay, instead of twenty-five, let's make it fifteen. Refresh. Okay, and make the color as yellow, so that it's clean and clear, visible. Hello. Okay, but I don't need it like this. But I want it on the top also. So, if I clear this, what happens? Yeah. Okay, it's coming like this. But I want it slightly tilted. So let me put this in middle. Okay, and then again to put a transparent at the end. Transparent. Transparent is like you are in the border color. We are giving no color, color, no color, no color. That's the four sides. Yeah, we want this. Now this has to be aligned, this side. So now I need to push it that side. So left. Make it zero pixels and see what happens. No. Let's make it minus twenty, minus thirty. Yeah. Let's make it twenty-nine, somewhere like that. Yeah. Now from the top, top some ten pixels. Okay. Now here, what I'll do. I'll give a margin top also margin top of some ten pixels. Yeah, and margin or right of some twenty pixels. Okay, cool. And let me make the border. Give it a border radius, so that it looks good. Border radius of some five pixels. Oh, some error is a border. Yeah. Now, okay. From the top, let me not make it ten. Let me make it seven. All right. Looking better, right? Now remove this yellow, and let's make a color. Let's take a color from here. Flat, like colors. Okay, let me take this silver. Save, and change this background of green also to that particular color. Now refresh. Yeah, looks better, right? Cool. Now let me do it a similar one for B also. For this, let me copy this completely and paste it over here. Instead of A, let me make it as B. Instead of A, let me make it B. Here, what we'll do is instead of left, let's make it as All right. Now oh, let's see. Yeah, but this has to be here. So right and okay. First we need to change this also. Put this here. 
Now refresh. Yeah. Looking good, right? Cool. <laughs>